hello everyone welcome to creative box in this video i am going to show how you can create a drop down with arrow using html and css so let's get started first of all we need to create a html file now let's write a html markup inside it let's create a div for the drop down i'll add a link inside it now let's create a drop down menu that will open when we hover over this drop down link i'll create a list okay our html is ready now let's preview it in the browser i'm going to use a vs code live server extension to preview it in the browser uh, this is looking bigger because i have already uh, zoomed my browser so that you can see much clearly now we need to add some css so let's create a new file now we need to link this css in our html okay now let's start adding our css first of all i am going to change the font of the body now i'll uh, i would like to remove the text decoration so for all the a tag inside the drop down i'll set the text decoration to none i'll also remove the bullets from the list now this is looking good but we have the extra spacing around here if we take a look inside the developer tools uh, we can see our drop down menu that is ul has a, a margin and padding so we don't need this margin and padding we'll use our custom so for the margin i'll set it to zero and for the padding i'll set it to 10 pixel on the top and zero pixel on the left and right so this looks fine since our drop down menu is going to be absolute so let's add the position and from the left we are going to use zero and from the top we are going to use it 100 percent now our drop down menu is lost because we don't have set the relative positioning for the parent so for the drop down we are going to set the position to relative so that our drop down menu will be positioned from our drop down now uh, i would also like to change the color of my drop down so for all the links i'll change the color to something like uh, dark gray so now for the drop down menu let's add some css let's give it a background color of white and add the box shadow now the box shadow looks good now let's add some uh, roundness our drop down menu is looking good but our drop down item are uh, touching the edges of the drop down menu so we'll add some padding to the drop down items now we added the padding on the top bottom and left and right but the padding is only applied on the left and right and not on the top and bottom the issue is because our a tag is uh, inline element so let's change it to block so for all the a tags inside the drop down menu i'll set the display to block now this is looking fine uh, now we need to add the arrow so for adding the arrow i'll uh, use the before and after pseudo classes so for the before let's set the content to empty for now let's set the position uh, top and left to 0 and 0 for creating the arrow shape we are going to use the css border property if you know about the css border the css border has top bottom left and right property and we can use one of the border to create a shape like triangle so for our case we are going to use the border bottom property that will give us the triangle as we need so for that let's create a border and let's add the color transparent since we need uh, the color only on the bottom we are going to set the border bottom color only okay now we already have the shape that we need so we need to position this on the top so for positioning this on the top since the size of our border is 10 pixel and top and bo bottom border will add up to 20 pixel so we need to move it 20 pixel on the top so from the top i'll set the negative 20 pixel and now this will uh, take our arrow icon on the top now for the left property we need to shift it a little bit so let's give it a value of 10 pixel since our arrow is overlapping our text let's give some padding to our drop down link as well so for this drop down link we are going to add some padding okay now this looks fine now uh, let's add a border around the drop down menu let's give it a color of uh, light gray 
this looks fine now for the border bottom color we'll also have the same color is that of border okay this looks fine now we need to uh, apply this background color only on the edges uh, of the icon so for for that what we can do is we can use the after class and then we can uh, change the color to white now if you look the white icon overlaps the gray icon so we need to position it a little bit downward so let's push it two pixel downward okay now you can see the arrow icon as we need now the next thing that we can do is we can uh, display this drop down menu only after we hover so let's set the property of display to none as a default and then when we hover the drop down then we can display the drop down menu now if we take a look and hover over the drop down link we'll see the drop down menu in this way you can create the drop down menu with arrow i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, i'll be adding more videos like this so i hope to see you in the next video thank you